An update on a story we first reported is breaking news. Some incredible video coming into our newsroom of a massive fire that sent two Henderson families running for their lives. This is video from the ground as well as Chopper 13 fast and first over the scene there tonight. We're hearing from the man who rushed in to save a woman and her young grandson. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live near Boulder Highway in Warm Springs where those families lost pretty much everything. Masa. Yes, Steve, they lost everything. Let's show you what nearly half a million dollars worth of damage looks like. You really can't make anything out tonight. Some pets have died, but the people lived because of how quickly the community reacted. We just knocked them with hollering fire, fire, and they came out. Moments later, witnesses say the fire engulfing a trailer and then two homes. Cell phone video shows the flames from the front. The blaze so intense, video shows smoke rising high above the walls of the complex out back. Black smoke, that's all I can see. Thanks to that alert neighbor, Martha Drury, and her baby grandson living to see another day. And her escape, she was able to save her dogs and these birds, but two cats did not make it out. Still tonight, she and her neighbor are grateful. I feel blessed because of the fact that we're still alive, and that's what counts, you know. I didn't want anybody hurt. You can replace things, you can't replace people. Get it, 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 get it. Heartbreaking, totally heartbreaking. Dad's still looking for the cat. Travis Anderson's hoping his cat, Mr. Boots, will eventually show up. The family had lived in this home for 20 years and were in the process of moving when this happened. Most everything didn't make it dead. Yeah. We're lucky we got what little bit we got. Tonight, firefighters haven't confirmed the cause, but witnesses telling 13 Action News it began in this trailer. Is there anything inside the trailer that could have caught fire? I have no clue, to be honest with you. And that's because he says the trailer belongs to a friend. Tonight he's offering $50 cash, all he has left for anyone who can help him find his cat. Meanwhile, the other victim has set up a GoFundMe account. We're going to have the link to that posted on our website at KTMV.com. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.